I was born almost half a century ago. Ensconced in the project of civilization. Without thinking, I switch on a light, drive my car, and shop at supermarkets that are ready 24 hours a day to satisfy my every need and impulse. With the spectre of industrial civilization now in the crosshairs of peak oil and climate change, I've become obsessed with the notion of collapse. From Joseph Tainter's Collapse of Complex Societies, Jared Diamond's Collapse, How Societies Choose to Fail, to Michael Ruppert's movie Collapse, there is a growing pessimism about the ability of societies to adapt in time. There is even a term for individuals like myself, collapsitarians. In the fall of 2011, I spent two weeks living with Dr. Guy McPherson, author of Walking Away from Empire and Professor Emeritus from the University of Arizona. This is the story of how the West was lost. What's the answer? The answer is to terminate the industrial economy as quickly as possible. Dr. McPherson is focused on decoupling from the industrial monolith through relocalization. He introduced me to groups and individuals who are quietly preparing for just such contingencies. What comes to mind are bug out bags and guns and ammo survivalists. However, much more powerful are the transition movements that are occurring spontaneously around the world. Perhaps the Earth could have tolerated our dirty old friends, coal and oil, if only we had burned them gradually. But today, the level of consumption is so frenzied that the dark side of our planet glows like a fanned ember in the darkness of space. <laughs> 